Hello, this is Mr. Chabry, coach of your Kentucky Typhlosions, and here we are in week two of the playoffs. So we're actually going against um, Chattizard and the Cincinnati Charizard. So the last two battles we had with this team, they won, and we, yeah, I'm kind of scared about this. So if we want to win, we're going to have to play on our top game right now. So anyway, here's the full team. Um, you know what um, team they have, if you remember. It's Charizard X, Manaphy, Mew, Rhyperior, Mawile, Nidoking, Cobalion, Gudra, Kecleon, Lilligant, Type Null, and Ninjask. So the last two battles, my opponent brought Mega Charizard X, Manaphy, Mew, Rhyperior, Weavile, and Nidoking both times. So this time, I'm going to lean on the idea that he's probably going to bring those six again. He might switch up one or two, you know. But anyway, this team that I'm bringing is going to be the best team I've got for those Pokemon. So let's go into the team preview. So here's the full team, of course. And now we'll go into the team preview. And the first Pokemon I'm bringing is the Roserade. Um, Roserade's good for the Manaphy and Rhyperior. Um, I'm going to bring Leaf Storm on it this time. I usually brought energy ball but I think Leaf Storm is going to be better because I'm not really sticking in that long with Roserade so if I can get hit like a mana like anything with a Leaf Storm it's going to take quite a bit of damage the only thing that resists it is the Charizard um, but yeah everything else takes quite a bit of damage from it the next Pokemon I'm bringing is the Swampert so Swampert's my best counter to the Charizard it's really my only counter to the Charizard, if you look at the team, yeah. So, this thing is my only really good counter to Charizard. I'm bringing Earthquake and Scald. I've got Protect to help get some leftover recovery. I've got Stealth Rocks to set up the rocks and maybe, you know, damage the Charizard when it gets brought in. Um, the next Pokemon, Pokemon I'm bringing is Muck. So, Muck's actually good for a, quite a few Pokemon on this team. Um, mainly the Mew. Um, I've seen, like, the last two battles, he brought Mew with the Ferium Z. And the Mandibuzz, it brings it down to, like, 1 or 2 HP. Like, really low HP. But the Muck can actually take that very well. So Muck's the best thing I've got for the Mew. Um, his Mew has the Defog. That's really his only Defogger. So I know the Mew's probably coming in. And he's probably going to use the Mew as the Nuke Pokemon. Um, but anyway, that's what I'm looking at. Um, this thing's also pretty decent against the Manaphy. It's not the best, but, I mean, it's my special attacking... Uh, it's my special wall, that, uh, my special tank, I would say. Um, it can hit hard, and it can take some hits. Next Pokemon I am bringing is going to be the Jellicent. So Jellicent is really good against the Manaphy. Unfortunately, last time, um, it got froze. And we couldn't, like, we couldn't thaw out. So he was able to take down our Jellicent with his Manaphy by constantly attacking it. But it was taking those hits very well. Um, what I was trying to do was Toxic the Manaphy and then go for Hex, try to get some damage. But I wasn't able to. Maybe this time um, we can do some more. I'm actually bringing Shadow Ball. Um, this is my best counter to the Manaphy. It's really... Looking at it, that's real. Yeah, it really is my best counter to the Manaphy, like to bring in. Um, actually, um, Roserade's pretty good against the Manaphy too, um, but I just don't want to take an Ice Beam because I think Ice Beam probably probably takes out the Roserade with one hit. It it might um, actually, but the last time, the last two battles. Our Roserade actually outsped his Manaphy, so his Manaphy is his bulky um, Pokemon. So if we can still outspeed with the Roserade, um, Manaphy goes down. But we don't want to bring um, Roserade in on the Manaphy because of the Ice Beam. But anyway, so that's what the Jellicent's mainly there for, for the Manaphy. It's also pretty decent against the Mew. Um, it... That's really the best thing. It's, it's got some resistances to the Nidoking, King, but Nidoking King can eventually take it down. So I need to worry about that Nidoking King too. Um, yeah, Nidoking's King's probably going to be the biggest problem 
usually the Weavile is, but I think Nidoking's going to be a bigger problem here, but, you know, I, I'm doing what I need to do to take care of this team, I think. Um, but anyway, the next Pokemon I'm bringing is the Caesar, the Mega Caesar. It's my best thing for the Weavile. Um, if you watch my other battle, the Weavile actually does a lot against my team. So I need something there for that Weavile. Um, so there's this. It also has Bullet Punch. Um, it's got like quite a bit of attack. It's also um, that Bullet Punch gets some damage on um, the Gudra. I need to watch out for Flamethrower on Gudra. Um, it's actually really good against the Lilligant too, but he didn't bring it the last time. So I'm kind of on the on the side of thinking he's probably not going to bring the Lilligant or the Ninjask. I don't think Ninjask and Lilligant's going to even make an appearance here. But anyway, this thing is my counter to Weavile. Whenever Weavile comes in, I'm going to bring this thing in because it just takes all like it just it's so good against the Weavile. The last Pokemon I'm bringing is the Dragonite. So Dragonite in the past, the last two battles, goes down to the Weavile both times. So this time I calced, I calced the Dragonite so it can live um, an Ice Punch and fire back with an Outrage. So that's what I'm looking at. It's calced in a specific way to live at least one hit from most of his Pokemon. I still need to see if it's going to live a hit from Mega Charizard. And this time, I'm actually going to Choice Bandit. It's going to be a Choice Bandit Dragonite. So I'm going, whenever I, so the only thing that really can take an Outrage is the Cobalion. If I can, if he doesn't bring the Cobalion, I can just hit Outrage and just knock something out. Um, the Rhyperior, it's a two-hit KO from a Choice Bandit Outrage. Um, but everything else goes down to an Outrage. Um, the Weavile has been Focus Sash in the past, but like I said, um, it can this thing can live an Ice Punch. So if he brings in the Weavile on the Outrage, I can live an Ice Punch and hit with the next Outrage and take out that Weavile. The thing I need to worry about is him leading with Manaphy if I lead with this. Um, because I really don't want to take damage on my Dragonite without, like, before I need to. But, yeah, this is going to be basically my my gung-ho, hit-as-hard-as-I-can Pokemon. I need to keep the rocks off the field for this thing, though. Because if rocks are on the field, um, there's not much that Dragonite can do. Because Dragonite's not going to live anything. But anyway, here is my team. Um, hopefully, hopefully we can get a victory this time. Um, because this is... Um, this is, this is the playoffs. If we get knocked out here, we go home. So hopefully we can win this and go on to the final championship battle. This is the semi-finals. Um, but if we don't, um, it's okay. We did a good job. We've got a lot of victories. And if you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and don't forget to watch the battle. I'll see you next time.